morning boys and girls today we will be looking at division of days and weeks now remember seven days equal one week or one week equal seven days all right now let's go ahead now let's go ahead and look at our first example now we have set it out just as how we would have set out a division problem right but what we have done is we have separated weeks and we have separated days now this is saying five weeks and five days good and we're going to divide both of them by two so this is five weeks and five days divided by two all right now we are going to proceed as if we were doing a regular division we are going to say how many times can two go into five right now let's go ahead two can go into five two times so we're going to go ahead and put two at the top now once we have done that we will go ahead, we will use this 2 to multiply by our divisor. 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4. So I will write 4 below my 5. And then I will go ahead and subtract. Now 4 from 5 will leave us with 1. Now, what does this one mean? This one is telling us that I still have one week remaining. I took four weeks out of five weeks and I have one week remaining. All right. Now, usually in your long division, you would have bring down this five. But we're not going to do that today. What we are going to do is we're going to convert this one week into days. Alright. Now, how many days are in one week? Do we remember? At the beginning, we said seven days make one week. So it simply means that this one week is the same as seven days. So I'm going to change it to days and it will become seven days. So I'm going to take my seven days and I'm going to bring it over to my days column. So I will now write seven below this five. Good. Five days seven days and i'm going to go ahead and add them when i add five with seven i will get 12. so i now have 12 days five days plus seven days gives us 12 days now i can go ahead and divide because i've already divided all of my weeks so now i need to divide my days so i have 12 days divided by 2 2 into 12 will give us 6 6 times 2 12 when I take away 12 from 12, I end up with nothing. So let us look at it now. Five weeks and five days divided by two will give us two weeks and six days. Let us look at another example. In this example, we have nine weeks 
and 6 days divided by 3. So let's divide. We have 9 weeks, 6 days divided by 3. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. 3 multiplied by 3 will give us back 9. Now I'm going to go ahead and take away both of them. 9 from 9 will give us 0. Now if you notice, we have 0 here. So it means that we do not have any weeks left over. So we can go ahead and proceed to divide our days. 3 into 6 will go what? 2 times. So I'm going to put my 2 here. 2 multiplied by 3 will also give us 6. And I'm going to go ahead and take away 6 from 6 will leave us with 0. So in this example, we had nothing to convert. Okay? So it means that 9 weeks and 6 days divided by 3 will give us 3 weeks and 2 days. Let us look at one final example. Now we have 5 weeks, 1 day, divided by 4. Let's go ahead and divide. 4 into 5 gives us 1. 1 times 4 will give us 4. And I'm going to write my 4 below my 5. Let's take away. 4 from 5 gives us 1. So in this case, we are left back with 1 week. Therefore, we have to make our conversion and change this 1 week into days. How many days make a week? 7. So I'm going to go ahead and take that 7 and write it below my 1 day. Now remember, we must add all our days together. 7 and 1 will give us 8. So we are now with 8 days. 4 into 8 will give us 2. 2 times 4 gives us 8. 8, take away 8, will leave 0. So 5 weeks and 1 days divided by 4 will give us 1 week and 2 days. You're going to now go ahead and try some on your own.